What's up gorgeous people? It's Amber. Welcome back to my channel. Now, as I said in yesterday's video, normally I start out in today's video, I'm going to, well, let me just pump the brakes for a minute. And I just want to let you know that due to some extreme changes in my personal life, I'm not going to be able to post three times a week as I was. So unfortunately that means that the shoe days are going to be rotated with the craft days so i'm only going to post on saturday and sundays and i plan on rotating the shoes and the crafts like every other saturday i'll do a craft every other saturday i'll do the shoes um I mean, if it's possible, maybe I will just try to post the craft and the shoes on Saturdays, but it's just not going to be possible for me to post on Fridays anymore due to the extreme changes in my personal life. So going forward, I'm only going to be posting twice a week. Um, the shoes will be every other Saturday. So this Saturday is going to be shoes. Next Saturday will not be shoes. It'll be crafts. That is the plan. I hope that that does not hurt anything or make anyone upset in any way um if it does let me know because i will definitely try my best to try to get the shoes out each week if that is an issue for anyone so now that i got that out of the way let's get into what we're going to be talking about today today i am going to talk about my well not all of them of course not i mean i have over 500 pairs of shoes so when i do these videos i am just randomly grabbing shoes off the shelf and going over a few pairs of shoes but it's not nowhere near the amount that i have in whatever category i'm talking about today we're going to talk about ankle boots um i have nine total pairs that i'm going to be showing you but i'm only it's only five designs so I have like you know obviously a couple of different colors in those other pairs because I really liked the way that the shoe looked or thought that the shoe would be very comfortable and we'll go over that all in the video so without further ado let's get into the first pair <laughs> Okay, we're going to start out with this one. I always start with my least favorite pair of what I'm, you know, discussing. And this one, I love the buckle. This buckle is fire. I mean, if it wasn't for this buckle, this would just be a plain black boot. Super boring, right? This is a five inch heel on this boot. So, you know, five isn't bad. It, it could be higher. Uh, they have a great rubber sole on the bottom. Obviously, I've only worn them a few times, but, you know, you really can't even tell that I wore them a few times. I love how it says faux fur on the bottom there. You see that? That's funny, but it's actually, I guess it would be faux leather is what they meant to put. I bought these at Gabe's. <laughs> I think they were like six bucks or something like that. So very affordable. Um, it's a nice chunky heel, definitely good for the winter time. And like I said, if you find something with a detail like this, this buckle is fire. You're gonna see in my photos that I'm showing you that this really sets off the, the boot all together. So I have it in black. And I'll swipe to the left. And after swiping, we have a nice white color. Cream color. I guess it's cream. Again, uh, this goes with so many different things. This is a great boot. I, I do like it. Obviously, don't wear them very often, but the rubber soles are excellent on them. Love the chunky heel effects going on on these. The buckle is fire. All in all, great boot. Let's move on to the next one. <laughs> okay, we're gonna move on to this boot. There is a few things that I love about this boot. The style of this boot with like the squared off toe makes it super comfortable, super comfortable to wear. It's like a velvet material. We've got the nice rubber soles. 5.75 inch heel on this one, which is fire. Great there. And you know, the fact that you don't have to lace it up, you just slide your foot in there, it zips up in the back. Great. All these things are fantastic. I love the gold gems they have here. Yeah, it'd be nice if I got my hand out of the way. But they have gold gems embedded in here and the studs. All great. The thing, oh my gosh, I almost dropped it. <laughs> That would have been awesome. Um, the thing that I don't like about this boot is the fact that it's orange and brown. And the brown's like a weird color brown, so it's difficult for me to find things that match this and like look, you know, I don't know, looking awesome, like fire. It's really hard with orange and brown. So I struggle with what I can wear with this boot. Um, so I'll just go for like the solid orange color or if I can find this brown, but I guess gold would be another option. Would probably look really nice if I have anything gold that I can wear with it. So just kind of limited to what you can wear with a boot like this, but otherwise it's great. I mean, this style boot with the, you know, squared off front is pretty awesome. I mean, it makes it super comfortable for your toes. So I definitely highly suggest it on all of those aspects. I got this at Gabe's. I think I paid maybe five bucks for these and uh, it was a great deal. So overall it's great, but uh, the color combination is the only issue that I have with this boot. So we're going to move on. Okay, next we're gonna do these guys. I love these boots now, but originally they were completely just gold. And I added this patch to the side of it and it just transformed them and made them 
fire. I absolutely love these boots now. Uh, they are five inch heel, which is eh, so-so. The rubber sole on the bottom is great. Uh, the black velvet around the sides, it's nice. It looks nice, but it's kind of hard to keep, you know, hair and fuzz from getting on it. But other than that, I mean, there's options for me to wear with this now that I added the patch because of course I have the red and the turquoise and all kinds of other things going on. So it made it, um, you know, easier for me to find things to wear with this boot where before I was just kind of stuck with maybe solid black or if I could find something gold. So I like the fact that I have more options since I added the patch to it and it just added a lot more character to the boot. So these ended up being one of my favorites after I added the patch to the side. I'm sure there's probably a ton of people out there like I would have never done that. You ruined those boots. They look terrible. But this is me. This is my style. I absolutely love that it's a little more loud and a little bit more crazy. So definitely suggest this pair with the narrow front is fine too for your toes. Everything works great. So it's super comfortable. I actually have a tag on the inside here that says $2. So I paid $2 for these at Gabe's at end of season. So totally worth it. Loving these boots. Let's move on. Okay, we're gonna move on to these ones because I love my heelless shoes, so why not have a heelless boot? Loving the cutouts on the sides of the this boot as if it doesn't have enough detail going on. Already being heelless alone makes it already, you know, uh, extreme or attractive type of shoe. And then they have all these gold um, studs and then they have these clear gems on here. So they have a lot going on. This shoe just screamed amber. Plus it's fuchsia pink. I mean, come on, how much better can we get here? We've got the heelless shoe. We've got velvet fuchsia pink. We've got studs. We've got gems. It just screams amber by me. So of course, you're going to see this one in a couple of other colors. But before I do that, I just wanted to stress that it is a super comfortable shoe uh, overall. Uh, you know the rounded part here still makes it comfortable for your toes I love the heelless shoes I probably will do a video soon showing people how to walk in heelless shoes because it's so easy I think people just get um, scared by the way that they look but once you put them on and you start walking in them I swear they feel to me just like a wedge and the wedge shoe if you're gonna wear a heel, is one of the most comfortable heels that you can possibly wear. So now you just have the wedge shoe with just like a nice extreme element to it. Super great, super easy to walk in these guys. I just wanna stress that. So, I mean, if you wanna get a pair, definitely get a pair, start, I mean, maybe don't get, you know, a six and a half inch heel like mine is, but I don't know, get like a five inch heel, I, okay. You can even go less if that's what you want, but it's kind of hard for them to do the heelless on a really low heel because, I mean, you have to start, you know, doing the gravity thing at a certain point, so it's hard for them to make these in smaller heels, but I think you can get them in a five inch for sure. So anyways, now that I'm off of that rant, let's go ahead back to the shoe. Great shoe, loving this. I have it not only in this awesome fuchsia pink, but we have this fabulous cobalt blue. And I do love these, but it's hard for me to find things to wear with this color. The fuchsia, I don't have as much trouble because I have a lot of fuchsia stuff, but it's kind of hard for me to find stuff for this cobalt blue, but I absolutely love this blue. This is a fire shoe, 100% love it. And I'm just so professional. I'm like ready to turn off the camera before I'm even done talking. So, you know. My videos may or may not get better. I don't know. We'll see. But then we have this tan color, which is there's a ton of stuff that you can wear with a tan color, and they have the gold studs in here. I also wanted to mention that these shoes I did buy on amiclubwear.com. They were ten dollars each. Can't beat that price. Free shipping. Totally awesome. I will obviously be leaving a link in the description below for them because I buy a lot of my shoes there. I think that they're awesome. So amiclubwear.com on these ones. This is a five point or. Point. This is a 6.5 inch heel. Velvet. Awesome. What more do you need? Let's move on to my last and favorite pair of shoes. <laughs> Okay, and ta-da! These are my hands down favorite pair of ankle boots that I have. I think you guys are probably seeing a trend here because this is like a work boot style shoe, but we have a nice cutout on the side here which makes these even better. And of course, the fabulous tread on the bottom of these things. I've worn these quite a bit, guys. I love these boots. And as you can see, it's probably torn away here. I'm like, I'm 
gonna reluctantly show you the black pair as well but the black pair have been worn even more than these and they are completely falling like apart in the back and the sides here I'm gonna try to figure out a DIY to fix that because my usual sharpie marker thing doesn't really work here so nonetheless uh, these are definitely hands down my favorite pair it's a five and a half inch heel wish it was a six inch heel but I'm telling you what these things are fire with these cutouts on the side the camo I love camo I love how they have the camo here and then of course the nice uh, good tread on the bottom I wear these a lot in the winter time these are my favorite pair I believe I bought these at Gabe's they were about ten dollars this was a while ago so I don't have a link or anything like that for this particular pair but I love the work boot style uh, boots and I love how you have the nice thick tread on the bottom so this is my favorite pair I have them in this lovely camo and like I said, I reluctantly want to show you the black pair. I mean, look at this, guys. They are tore up. I mean, they are so tore up. That's how much I wear these. I, I love them. Oh, my gosh. Look, I just noticed. Ah! Oh my gosh, that's an easy fix though. This is such an easy fix. I don't know what I'm gonna do for the rest of this because I love these so much. Everything else is fine. We're just falling apart here and we're falling apart here. But, you know, other than that, we're in good shape, right? <laughs> totally fixable. I love these. I have to figure out how to fix them. So that's going to wrap up all of my shoes. Let me do my outro and we'll close down this thing. Okay guys, that wraps up my ankle boot video. I'm trying to keep these videos to 10 minutes or less and it's really hard when I start talking about my shoes because my collection is so large and I just love to talk about shoes because that's obviously one of my favorite things. So I'm gonna, I try to keep the shoe styles down to like a certain amount so that I'm not talking for so long and the video doesn't ramble on and on and on unless you guys are finding it entertaining, helpful, I don't know. I, I can keep doing that but I'm trying to, to pair these videos down a little bit more than they have been um we'll see how that works out for me but i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please hit that subscribe button click the notification bell like share do all those things to help other people find this channel thanks so much for taking the time to check this out and i'll catch you next time bye Okay, ta-da! These are my hands down favorite pair of, what am I look? Ankle boots, okay. Okay, so we're gonna move on to this boot. I love the fact that this boot has this awesome like gold studs in here and then they have the gold, uh, okay, that's not right. What's up gorgeous people? That was a scratchy one, let's do it again. <laughs>